Hi, so today we'll be talking about neurofibromatosis in the theme or in the style of Game of Thrones. So I want you to remember this in the actual, if you've watched the movie, which most people have, it's going to be taking place on the wall um, in the north. So I'll first go over quickly how to remember the two out of seven diagnostic criteria for neurofibromatosis. And then we'll be talking about ways to remember the extracutaneous manifestations of that. The quickest way for me to memorize the diagnostic criteria is learning this mnemonic, CAFE SPOT. The only thing I would change would be P, would be a positive family history. Um, then you just have to remember that it's two out of the seven to have a positive diagnostic criteria. So in terms of the eye manifestations, the three-eyed raven has three eyes, and there are also three things to remember. The first thing is going to be glaucoma. The second is going to be hypertelorism, which means that there's wide space between the eyes. And the third thing is just going to be that they have leash nodules of the eye. In terms of the bone abnormalities, we can see one of the white walkers here who has a really large head, which is macrocephaly. He also has a curved spine, as you would if you were dead and broken. Uh, so therefore, he has scoliosis. There is no patella on his kneecaps because they just fell off, really. He also has thinning of the long bone cortex, which means that it's more likely to break. Paranoid wing dysplasia, this is one of the diagnostic criteria. And we've drawn it here with wings, but obviously humans don't have wings, neither do white walkers. But this is just to remind you that it is sphenoid wing dysplasia, which occurs in the sphenoid bone of the orbit. And sometimes you can get one eye socket bigger than the other. Next we move on to tumors. And the giant white walker, has been depicted as the tumor diagram and the reason is or a way to remember is that tumors increase in size and the white walker is huge so he possibly grew in size the tumors that are mainly involved are optic glioma and that is also one of the diagnostic criteria cns tumors are also involved and if you look on his belt he has a sword and that to me refers to peripheral nerve sheath tumors. He is also holding two things in his hands. One of them is a police car and, that, and to me that refers to pheochromocytoma, even though it's a car and carcinoid would make more sense. His left hand refers to juvenile myelomonocytic leukemia, which if you shorten it, it's JMML, which stands for Jumel, and Jumel in Arabic is a camel. That's why he's holding a camel. We all know that Hodor isn't all quite there, and so therefore that's why he was put into the neuro side of things. He is associated with learning difficulties and seizures, which we all remember, and is also known to have UBOs, which are un unidentified bright objects um, that we see in the MRI scans. And finally, for the cardiovascular symptoms, you have the Lord Commander and he basically is very stressed and the white walkers trying to attack him has increased his blood pressure and all of these things that we see are to do with his blood pressure so the most common would be essential hypertension then renal artery stenosis and finally pheochromocytoma which i have put as a police siren on his head as opposed to a whole car on his head so now you just want to link them all together so the way you can remember it, you can make up a little story. For example, you can say that the bird or the crow arrived first, and it does that because it has premonitions, so it arrived beforehand. You then had the onslaught of the white walkers, and obviously the one that could fly arrived first. So you had the flying white walker that landed second, and then after that it was followed by the giant. Now the giant, to link the giant with Hodor, you could say that actually the giant wasn't bad. He was trying to give him a police car to play with. And Hodor actually wanted to go to him and, and play with it, but that raised the stress levels of the Lord Commander, and that's why his blood pressure went up. So you can link it in any other way you want, but that's one way of remembering the sequence and the characters involved.